I started to learn when I was your age, at about four years old. And being a martial arts um, means a lot to me. It changed my life. But most importantly, I'm going to ask you, you guys as a black belt candidates, what does black belt mean? As you know, as a black belt, there's such thing as mind, body, and soul. So spirit, correct? So for you guys to cultivate your mind, how do you strengthen the mind? Somebody. Yes. By learning. Learning. That's why you guys go to school. To cultivate your mind, you have to learn from your teachers, your professors when you go to college. Knowledge gives you power. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so first thing is knowledge. Second is the body. How do you make your body strong? Anybody? Please. Practice. Whether it's martial arts, whether it's basketball, whether it's football, tennis. To strengthen your body, you have to exercise. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you have to put healthy things in your body. So no more uh, flaming Cheetos for you guys. <laughs> you have to eat healthy, because when you start to put bad things in your body, like double-double cheeseburger with bacon and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> just animal style. And animal style. I'm guilty of that. But you have to um, always put good things in your body, which means don't do any drugs. No, you guys all go to school, so you'll see those kind of elements. You'll see people taking drugs. You as black belts, you can never, never, never put drugs in your body. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So mind, body, and the last one is spirit. How do you, how do you as black belts, make your spirits stronger and grow? Do you know? Yes. Have a sense of purpose. What else? Yes. Meditation. Meditation. What else? Yes. Uh, forgive one another. Forgive one another. That's a good one. What else? Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Yes. So, <coughs> the thing about the last part is a little bit tricky because the first two, mind and body, is for you. You guys understand? Yes. But the third part is not for you. It's for somebody else. So you take all the knowledge that you have, you take all your strength that you have, and to build spiritually, you have to help others. You have to reach out and help others. How do you help others? Through your words. Don't say negative things to your brothers and sisters, or your friends, or don't be disrespectful to your parents. Those words have a lot of power. Don't say things like, I hate you, mom. When you see your mom and dad, they sacrifice so much for you. You know what I want you to say? It's mom, dad. You know, when, I'm gr when I grow up, I'm going to be really successful. And I'm going to take care of you, mom. I'm going to take care of you, dad. <coughs> when you see your friend who's down, let's say he failed the test, you go, ha, ha, you failed the test. You say, hey, it's all right. You're going to make it next time. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. That's the meaning of black girl. Mind, body, and spirit. So long as you remember that, you're going to be all right. You guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Also, always be, you guys are so blessed because you have great master and instructors and mentors. I cannot tell you how important that is to have a great teachers because they will mold you to become who you are. So when you guys grow up, are you guys going to be all successful? Sir. 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 Are you going to give back? Sir. Sir. Are you going to give back? Yes, sir. Awesome. 
That's all I have to say.